joined by Lauren Boebert of SILT. She is challenging Republican Congressman Scott Tipton in a GOP primary for Congress to represent Colorado's Western Slope. Thank you for coming in. Hi, thank you for having me tonight. Your campaign announcement didn't mention Congressman Tipton by name. It did spend quite a bit of time and space attacking Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York. You running against her or you running against Scott Tipton? I'm absolutely running against her. So there is a social narrative that is taking over our country. There's a battle for the heart and soul of our country right now. And I am ready to be the one that steps up for conservative values and takes on AOC. I don't believe that there are many people who can take her on the way that I'll be able to. How exactly do you envision functioning in that role if you were elected? I believe that we need active representation. Anytime any of them any of the left-wing lunatics pop up with any of their crazy, wacky ideas, I'm gonna to come to people like you and I'm gonna tell the people of America exactly what's going on in DC so the people can rise up and do something about it as well. Uh, Congressman Tipton's not at this table. You may get a chance to debate him, but I imagine he would say something like, I'm there in Washington doing the business of the Western Slope as, a as opposed to just standing in front of TV cameras shouting about AOC. What would you say to that? If I felt that we were being actively represented, I wouldn't be here today. So Congressman Tipton has been in Congress for five terms now. Why do you think he deserves to be replaced? Four terms. Four terms, I'm sorry, yeah. He went in with some promises to abolish Obamacare, fire Nancy Pelosi, and lower our national debt. So I'll let his record speak for itself. You think he's been, you think he's been ineffective or he's been focused on the wrong things? I have been on the ground with the people, campaigning. I've been, um, our, our own small town campaigns, and we've had petitions, we've hosted recalls, I've put my business on the line. We have begged our leaders to help us fight for the rights of the people of our state. We've made dozens and dozens, possibly hundreds of calls, and we got nothing. The only answer that we received was we're too busy with 2020 elections. So now I, Lauren Boebert, am ready for 2020 elections as well. One question that I ask anybody who's a relative newcomer to, to the public is who they identify with politically, who they admire politically, to kind of get a sense of where you stand. Obviously, people don't agree on everything. Who do you look at on the local or the national political level and say, I, I, I respect that person? Nationally, yeah. I absolutely admire and respect our president, Donald Trump. He is there and he's disrupting the narrative. He's just disrupting the way things work and I like it. He's making all of these left-wing people squirm. They don't know what to do about it. They try everything they do to dismantle his presidency and he keeps fighting for the American people and that's what it's all about. Do you think that Congressman Tipton is insufficiently supportive of President Trump? I've never heard him say a bad word about President Trump. Honestly, this truly is about fighting for the nation and for Colorado and to take on the progressive socialists that are dominating our country. So you said you want to go and you want to fight against AOC, you want to fight against the Green New Deal. Do you feel like Congressman Tipton has been sufficiently in opposition to the Green New Deal? What made me decide to run for Congress, what made me decide, Lauren, it's time to mount up, was when I heard my congressman say that he was on a committee with Maxine Waters as a chair and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is on that committee and Rashida Tlaib was on that committee. And this is the new world that we live in and they direct the ship. And I said, why aren't you directing the ship? Why are you the captain? You've been there for four terms now and you want us to rehire you for a fifth. I think it's time somebody else steps up and I didn't see anyone else stepping up. So I put my life and my family on the line to answer the call. Well, he doesn't lead that committee. Maxine Waters leads that committee because she's in the majority and Republicans are in the minority. If you were to beat Congressman Tipton, that's just a Republican for a Republican. So that doesn't get you any closer to a Republican majority. I believe that he could be active and, and let the people of Colorado know what's going on. He could come back and give us a battle plan and get behind people with conservative values, support them, endorse them, throw campaigns, and really bring, um, bring an effect, uh, 
bring an acknowledgement to what's going on to citizens in Colorado. So you got some national attention for your Second Amendment advocacy. Mm -hmm. um, you came down to Aurora to confront Beto O'Rourke. When he was here, he was talking about his gun confiscation plan. Uh, do you disagree at all with Congressman Tipton on Second Amendment issues? Well, I don't. I know that I'm an advocate for freedom. I'm an advocate for personal responsibility. I am an advocate for the United States Constitution. My advocacy for the Second Amendment is the same as it is for the First and the Tenth. I intend to annihilate socialism, deregulate America, and secure the Constitution. Tipton's been NRA endorsed. Do you have any question about his gun rights bona fides? I don't talk with congressmen too often, and that's part of our representation. Are there any specific votes that you can point to where you think that Congressman Tipton was on the wrong side of the issue and you would have voted the other way? I would encourage people to look at his voting record for 2018. I think our congressman forgot who he was for a little bit. I, I looked him up and there were some questionable votes for Which sure. Which one specifically? There was just a lot um, in reference to spending, Planned Parenthood funding, abortions, it, it just not conservative values. I believe that my, conserv my constituents will sleep well at night knowing that I will check off every conservative checkbox that there is, and I want them to hold me accountable to that. You believe that Scott Tipton voted to fund Planned Parenthood? He didn't vote to unfund them, to defund them. Okay. Um, you mentioned that you're a strong supporter of, of President Trump. Obviously, the impeachment inquiry is continuing today with the hearings in Washington and so forth. Um, do you believe that it was appropriate for President Trump to ask a foreign government to investigate a political rival? There's going to be a lot of time for policies. And right now, I would just love, you know, I think we're just making this too difficult. This is really simple. And we are announcing my campaign. We just started. I'm going to have a lot of time to talk about policy and everything that's going on in uh, America and in Colorado and how I'm going to represent everybody. And honestly, I just need a lot of help. I need a lot of support from grassroots Americans who are willing to give whatever they can to help us win this fight. I'm ready. I'm, I'm tired of politicians shying away from issues and fights that need to be won. I intend to win them. And if Americans like me intend to win them, then I encourage them to go to Lauren Bobert, LaurenForColorado.com. Would you accept foreign assistance in your run for Congress? I don't even know the laws of that, and I have no intention to. I am all about American first. And lastly, how would you describe the state of politics in Colorado today? This is a changing state politically, mm -hmm. obviously, over the last decade. You've been here longer than that. What do you think? I believe that we are still a conservative red state. Somehow, we just have blue control right now. I'm with the people. I hear the people. And if you see the response that we've received from announcing this candidacy, people are excited. I think that they finally received some hope, and they have something to run with, and they have an excitement for something to get behind. I am ready to continue this grassroots movement and have others follow me. We've been in it all year battling our legislators and we have a new legislative season session coming up in January and it's not gonna be pretty. You're talking about the state legislature, a lot yes. more action there. All right, Laura Bobert, thank you so much for yes. stopping by and uh, be safe on the trail. We'll catch up with you later on. Okay, thank you.